This is uh, Kevin, great hand. Okay. There you go. Now that this is a, a bit of a uh, this is a placeholder, we're going to come back to them at the end of this speech. Uh, but I just want to talk to you very briefly. It's uh, very uh, thankful to Kelly and for Lindsay uh, for all of you taking the time. Uh, obviously, we've got a lot going on each and every day. Uh, but I wanted to make sure I came and spoke to you for a few minutes and let you know uh, what's going on in this campaign and what we're doing moving forward. We have right now 67 days between us and election day. And I know that it's been a long campaign trail, and we've been at this for more than one year, but we have just 67 days left. And in 67 days, I'm going to stand before you as the congressman-elect for the 4th District for the next year. You may have seen my recent ad. Who's uh, who's seen the latest ad? Okay, oh, I like. Oh, I like. You guys watch a lot of TV. <laughs> and funny, I saw some uh, advertising people at Channel 12 last night at an event. They just said thank you. <laughs> uh, but I, uh, that ad is is very important because it talks about my Wichita roots uh, and our and my proud service to our community. Obviously, you also saw my beautiful wife Monica and our, the light of our lives, uh, baby Anna. Uh, unfortunately, they couldn't be here today. Uh, Anna has done many, many wonderful things, and, uh, and uh, uh, she has yet to learn how to sleep through the night. And some of you, some of you see me speak frequently, and you may think this is sort of like a shtick. You know, she has not learned how to sleep through the night. I, I wish I could stop this, uh, you know, applause line or laugh line in the speech, but uh, she has managed to somehow. She's teething, of course. But uh, three to six is kind of her hot time. Uh, and so uh, we're, we're working very hard on that. But the, the point is in that advertisement, I talked, you know, uh, and we spoke from a campaign perspective about the need to take Kansas values to Washington. And you saw a nice shot of me in that ad, uh, me playing football, say playing in quotes. Uh, I, you know, and, and again, remember because we're 67 days out, I was wearing number 67 in that, uh, in that, uh, in that jersey. And I wasn't the biggest player or the best player, but I was tenacious, worked hard, played by the rules, and those are the same values that have let my parents and I live the American dream and had all of us here live by those same Kansas values and live the American dream right here in Wichita, Kansas. And as many of you know, uh, in my re-election for state representative, this is a theme, I took 67% of the vote, uh, and, uh, which I was very proud to do. And in those two campaigns, so with so much of you, many of your help and your contributions, I knocked on over 15,000 doors. Wow. And uh, talking to all Kansas, Kansas of, all uh, of, of all parties, Republicans, Independents, Democrats, and all I said was, let me know what your ideas are and how together we can get common sense solutions back to the Kansas legislature. And I made, I made commitments in that campaign. I said that I would work very hard and that I would be an independent voice for Kansas. And I'm proud to report that after four years in the legislature, I have had that independent voice. I've worked across party lines, worked for common sense solutions, never accepted a free meal, gift, or trip from a lobbyist. one single vote in four years and and there were times when there were tough votes or maybe some people would have thought hey go take a walk that day but I made a commitment that if I'm paid to do my job when the Kansas House was voting Goyle's life was either green or red and that never failed to happen during my watch with the Kansas legislature and I also stood up uh, during our budget crisis and took my own personal step, uh, step to sacrifice, cut my own legislative pay in 2009 and 2010 to say that during these tough economic times, we had to sacrifice just like the state budget and just like Kansas. No, one of the first things I talked about in my very first campaign was that it was important to take on Fred Phelps and, and his Westboro Baptist Church. And that it was particularly important that in the home state of Fred Phelps, that we pass a law restricting where he could picket at the funerals of our war heroes who have given the last full measure of devotion defending our freedoms. And I am proud 
that I stood with the Patriot Guard and our veterans, and now that law is on the books in the state of Kansas. It is constitutionally sound. It will withstand court scrutiny, and I am proud that these families have the privacy and respect they deserve. And I have also uh, helped you know, during these economic times in 2009 when this recession just started, thank you, I helped pass a law that puts $69 million of, un of, of, of our taxpayer money into the Unemployment Insurance Trust Fund, which provided critical help to thousands of laid off Kansans. There was the right thing to do with the crash. Many of these machinists have been laid off because of the economy, but it's also because their jobs have been outsourced and shipped overseas. And that is why I have said that my first work in Congress will be to repeal the tax breaks and loopholes, the reward companies right now for shipping our Kansas jobs overseas. Hey, hey. Our tax code right now rewards companies for doing that. It's just wrong and it's got to stop. And because the most fundamental and critical responsibility for our next congressman is to protect and create Kansas jobs. And I don't know about you, but I think it's time we stop these bailouts. Yes. Greedy Wall Street bankers, reckless CEOs, they crashed the economy, they broke the rules, and they shouldn't be rewarded. Under my, under my uh, philosophy, Wall Street bankers who fail us should not get bailouts and bonuses, they should get fired. Period. <laughs> and for those of you who were at the Hyatt a few weeks ago, I pledged at that time to protect one of the most groundbreaking, progressive, and forward-thinking programs in our nation's history. As you know, 75 years ago, Franklin Delano Roosevelt signed the Social Security law in, into law. And that bill and that program has provided our country with dignity, security, and hope for 75 years. And if you think about it, Social Security has endured a world war. It's thrived in times of peace and unrest. It survived recessions and deficits. It stood firm under Republicans and Democrats alike. And I am here to tell you that I pledge that we will protect Social Security and oppose efforts to raise the retirement age beyond 65. Yeah. Kansans, my, I believe, are sick of the partisan bickering. They were sick of it in 2006 when I first ran and nobody thought I could win, but I won. They're sick of it in 2008. They said you couldn't get reelected, but I got reelected in that race. They're sick of the petty partisan politics, the negative attacks and the politics as usual, and what we need, in my belief, is a higher standard. We need a congressman whose values, the Kansas values that I spoke, at, uh, spoke of at the beginning, will actually go to, to Congress and to Washington and be independent and common sense oriented, not just in talk, but in action. And, now, we are ready to take this message to the voters and up against Mike Pompeo this fall. Now defeating Mike Pompeo, let me be very clear, will not be easy. He's a Republican National Committee man, deep ties to groups like Club for Growth, and he runs a tough campaign. But as we learn, he ain't very good at Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> and let me tell you this, our campaign has been a positive issues oriented discussion since the beginning. That will continue through November. And I stand before you today, thank you very much. I stand before you today asking for your support in this critical, critical endeavor. We have a very, very rare opportunity, I believe, in this area to put a, a person with mainstream values who listens to both sides and who is going to wake up every morning and go to bed every night making sure that South Central Kansas is the best place in the country to raise your family, grow your business, and start a family. And what I want to tell you right now is that I will not be able to win without your help. I can assure you of that. I have been around politics for some time. I've run several campaigns and been around a lot of campaigns. And this is going to be a tough, tough election. We are in a phenomenal position to win. We know exactly where we are. Our, our plan is being enacted. We are on track. But only with your help will we be able to win this election. So to get back to what I started with, 
staff, if you could please raise your hand one more time. For those of you, you are the, the lifeblood of, of the party. You give of your time, you give of your resources. Please give as much as you can in the next 67 days. If you've got a project at home, if you've got to remodel a room, you got to clean out the garage, it can wait till November 3rd. <laughs> and if you've got to pay for some groceries, we'll do that. But if you're going to, you're going to have any other extra funds, devote them to this cause for the next 67 days because we are a unified ticket. We've got people up and down the ballot that we are working with. And I will tell you this much, that if you could please sign up with Kim and Andrea, and uh, or Lindsay and let them know if you can make two hours of phone calls. Two hours of phone calls for us is the lifeblood of a campaign. If you've got that time, if you've got friends and neighbors, people at church, at work, who you can talk to about this campaign and the need to get a mainstream person back in the Congress, that is the way we will win. And I will just uh, leave you with this thought, which is I want you to think about waking up on November 3rd and now we used to have a congressman from this area named Dan Goodman. Who remembers him? Oh. Well, you know, Dan Goodman went to work every day and he didn't care about party labels. He didn't wake up every morning thinking that if his party was in power, everything would be great. And if, his, and if the opposing party was in power, everything was wrong. He worked across the aisle. He worked with the Republican head of Cessna to make groundbreaking laws that saved general aviation and created jobs. If you want a congressman, is going to wake up every morning and go to bed every night thinking about how to create and protect Kansas jobs and making sure that we work with both sides to get things done, that I'm your guy and with your help, I will win. So thank you so very much. party bus and just move you all along and all the speakers all across this district. I'm very humbled and very thankful. Thank you very much for the kind introduction or for the welcome when I came in for that, uh, that standing ovation. It means a lot to me and our staff. And uh, uh, I've got time for about uh, two to three questions and I see the distinguished Professor Mel Khan uh, uh, jumping right up. I'm going to ask uh, Mel, uh, take it away.